The cosmos is subsiding as almost like a tide going out where the ocean contacts less and less of the shoreline. It's moving away. That's how I feel about the interaction of the cosmos and the material world. There's a subsidence there that's very noticeable. And it shows itself in lots of different ways that I think are very interesting and poignant. And one of them is that the the reality that we are moving to our resurrection etheric body seems more and more certain that that is where we are going, that our subtle body is becoming more and more important to reality as we understand it, that our connection to the divine hierarchy is not through the material world of time and space, but it is through the world of what I would call psychic energy coalescing as light. And that we as beings of light are more and more engaged in the cosmos in that way, not as occupants of a world of materiality and space or time. And I think you can see that. I think Yeshua tells us that the prelude in the Gospel of John tells us we are children of light. So it's it's clear, and, and I, I think sometimes we don't really know how to manifest that as beings of light. And of course, my, my always answer is that it is through obedience to our calling, to meditate on our experiences, to find out what it is that we can learn from the life we are living right now? And how can we rely more and more on that divine connection, that connection that is, in fact, energetic? It is a connection to the divine that is oh, almost like the glass that the throne sits on in Revelations. It is that glass. And that's in opposition to or in contrast to the world of the personality that occupies time and space. The personality is mostly electrical, mostly crystalline, and it looks for substance. The personality looks for substance. And so we see people striving for money and power and celebrity and things which give them a substantial appearance. Although, in fact, as we all know, that substantial cloak that some of us wear is not very long lasting. But I think that's a, a clue as to some of the things that are happening now in the world of transhumanism. And what it is, it's an understanding by the world of personalities and egregores that the time and space reality that most of us understand is subsiding. And so there is need there for something else. What will replace time and space to personalities? And what it is, of course, is transhumanism. It is the electrical impulses of chips. It is digitized realities that we can participate in through mechanical, electrical means. So that's a consideration that's quite important. That the personalities that are occupying this world, the remaining world of time and space, are finding substance in digitized realities that they can claim as their own, their own worlds or in transhuman realities where they are connected electrically to chips and other nano devices. What a contrast to transforming into a being of light in the same way that the throne of God sits on a sea of glass, a flowing sea of glass. And it's quite an interesting contrast to see how the crystalline forms of personalities 
are so desperate to find substance. And yet, in the world of the divine hierarchy, we find our meaning and our understanding of our journey in obedience to our calling by paying attention, by meditating and reflecting on these things which make up the essence of who we are and where we're going. We are going forward and going forth in an expanding cosmos that increasingly is a cosmic source of light. It is our light. It is the light that we have become and are becoming more and more of. That's why science has so many problems with apparent paradoxes in physics. And it's going to become more and more so in my estimation. By my meditations, there's going to be less and less of time and space for science to begin to examine. They're going to have to go in another direction to find the understanding that they seek. What they seek, of course, is the understanding of substance. The substance that makes up what they think is time and space. But it's a paradox. It's not going to show up that way. Not for my meditation, not for my understanding. The only way to go ahead and proceed and to proceed with joy is being obedient to your calling. And in that obedience, connecting to the divine hierarchy, which is a hierarchy of light beings, expanding in the cosmos. What a beautiful thing. What a, a thing to wonder about and to explore. Not understanding it, but only able to connect to it through a obedience, through an understanding of ourselves and our proper role, and to want to aspire to that, no more, no less. That's the goal for me. Amen.